All right, let's test this out. Aha! Got some bolts in here. Success. What's going on guys, Devon here, and I'm excited because today I'm going to make another uh, component out of carbon fiber. Today I am going to make a carbon fiber, or a magnetic carbon fiber uh, bowl. Basically the, the kind of tray you would get at like O'Reilly's or any other auto parts store. It's, it's designed to hold bolts and nuts and loose tools like that, small things, you know. Usually costs about five bucks. Well today I'm going to make one out of carbon fiber. I'm going to start with this here plastic container. I'm going to use this as my mold. I've got my neodymium magnet right here. And uh, we're going to get to work and see how this comes out. So let's get started. Oh, and uh, just a little key note. Uh, sorry for the late upload and also sorry that we did not get the 5.3 video to you this week like we said we would. As you guys know, this past weekend, Sunday, was Mother's Day. They kind of got taken away with that. And uh, Saturday, Ben had to work, so he didn't really have any time to film after that. So that's what happened with this weekend. But uh, for sure, next week we will have the 5.3 video up. But in the meantime, let's make some carbon fiber. All right, got our PVA. I already cleaned out this mold that we're using, so I'm going to go ahead and just liberally apply the PVA. Everything you said, they already knew, more or less. Well, here's something. Since this is plastic, the carbon, the epoxy won't stick to it as it is, but I'm still going to use PVA to be safe. So we're going to let that sit for 20 minutes. We'll come back and uh, get started on the process. It's been 20 minutes. Let's go ahead and uh, mix up the epoxy, do our first coat, and get started. Remember, I didn't go over what my plan is of how I'm going to design this. Basically, I'm going to have the bowl here. I'm going to put my layer in, and I'm going to put one of the magnets right there in the center of the layer. And then I'll put another layer in, and that should be good enough right there. Um, shouldn't need to be too strong, it's just going to be holding bolts, nuts, screws, that sort of thing. Um, it's just going to look pretty cool, and it'll be carbon fiber. And I will have made it myself, which is awesome. See the little crack in there? Yeah. So. Not gonna work. I'm just gonna use a cut bottle. I've never turned anything around before, so I'm not really sure what needs to happen. It's taking shape. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a little crease right here. That's okay for me. The magnet. I'm hoping that the fibers, the carbon fiber bowl, will be strong enough to withstand the force pull of this neodymium magnet. We will find out. Center, the epoxy. Everything you said we already knew. More Push it less. down. And here's something that you didn't know. Now we're going to do where we do. Looking pretty good. I'm going to start trimming off the excess. So I got another bowl. I'm going to use this as the mold, like a compression mold, to uh, put it inside and compress, keep the shape, keep it tight. I'm going to go ahead and apply a PVA to this side of the mold and then uh, let it sit for the 20 minutes. While this sits and gets a little bit stickier, it'll be easier to work with. So it'll work out.
it looks really good before I put this in there. And smoother finish because it came out like a lot worse than I thought it would but you know first time doing a bold shape bit of it try to get it coated around Gotta see the light here I'll move you guys so you can see Right, it's morning. You can see that bottom part's got that nice epoxy deep wet look. Uh, sides still kind of turned out kind of lackluster. But you know, it's okay. Like I said, it's my first time making a bowl and it's more of a tool anyway. We got some voiding right there and a little bit right there. So this will definitely be something to use with vacuum infusion or vacuum bagging method. Let's go ahead and crack this off though. See how it looks. Wow, see that looks good actually right there. It's got a nice glossy finish. It's got the bubble from the voiding. I already knew that was gonna happen. But overall, that's, that's not terrible. My first bowl, looks kinda cool. See here, the epoxy lining up on it. So yeah, definitely gonna need to use a vacuum bagging to get this a cleaner look, but. Um, that's pretty stable. It's two layers. That's pretty hard. You have it, folks. Okay. And here it is. It's all nice and uh, trimmed up. You can see the inside is very glossy. The sides are looking pretty decent. Not as good as I wanted, but smoother than they were last night, and that's a plus. Went ahead and trimmed it, so now it's uh, basically a full bowl. Sanded it down, so it's not going to cut me. I may put like some rubber along the edge just to be safe, but I don't currently have any right now. But here it is, all sanded up. Not sanded, but cut to shape, ready to go. Probably not going to do any finishing work, but uh, let's see how she works. All right, let's test this out. Aha! in here. Success. Sweet. And there we have it, folks. The magnetic carbon fiber ball. Uh, could be for tools, nuts, screws, bolts, whatever. Hold my neck though. Move it down. It's got a strong pull too. Awesome. All right, guys, that's about going to wrap it up for today's video. Thank you again so much for checking it out. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I hope you learned something new. I hope you thought this was a cool little tool, little uh, ball here that I made. I had a lot of fun making it, and I learned a lot about you working with a curved, uh, round, and or bold uh, subject. So that's pretty cool that I have that experience now. As we've stated before, there is some issues with this one. Um, so going back, I will be making another one. It'll come out a lot cleaner. Uh, just some of the problems that we encountered. Uh, we've got some voiding right here. And we got some more right here. And we got some more right here. And then we got some bubbles at the bottom. Um, also something I thought was pretty funny. Um, the Made in China came out in the epoxy. I don't know if you can see it. But it came out in the, there it is. It came out in the epoxy. It looks almost like it was actually made in China, but I guarantee you it was made in my garage. Um, it's just the bowl that I used, or the ramekin container, whatever you want to call it, 
that I used for the mold had that in there. So hindsight, um, I'll probably try to sand that off before molding from it, but uh, it still works. You know, we got the, mag the neodymium magnet in the center. I can demonstrate that here, right there. Well, this is actually a pretty heavy ball, so let me get this. So neodymium magnet in the center. So it's got the magnetic in there. It'd be good for my tools, screw, well, bolts, screws, nuts, that sort of things while I made this. Instead of going out and buying one, I made some because I had some extra carbon fiber and epoxy laying around, so why not? Um, so once again, thank you guys so much for checking it out. Really appreciate it. I had a lot of fun making this cool little thing here, and I can't wait to get to using it on some of our builds we have going on. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, drop us a like if you enjoyed this little project, and uh, comment below if you've got any other ideas of things that we should make out of carbon fiber. Thanks again. Y'all have a good day. Remember to go out there and do something awesome. Peace. Thank you.